So imagine you, you need to defend a lead in a division to promote to division one. What you're doing, instead of playing a defenders like that, just do this haram ball. This. What do you mean? <laughs> you need to protect the lead, bro. <laughs> I want Russia to score. I want to see the celebration of Russia. Okay, let's see. Oh, let's go, man. Let's go. Special celebrations. Yes, that's what we needed. That's what we need in this game, no? You can actually manage the positioning. So Garnacho is playing, uh, Winger is a little bit higher, right? Play him like literally waiting behind the defensive line. This formation experience is way more fun than you could have thought. You can actually play two defenders. I'm not sure if you're gonna be winning any games with this, but that is way too much fun. Okay, where is my Sancho hiding? Oh, Sancho making a run. Ma oh, Sancho is back to Manchester United and scoring a goal. Slightly different there. Oh, Rabona pass from Rashi though. That's nice. Bellingham. Goal celebration. Bellingham celebration. Let's go. Yes, now I'm going to be celebrating goals with Bellingham. I don't care what you think about. Ah, what? Look at him celebrating goals. Mothers? Let's see mother celebration. I mean, if they are doing this. Ah! Boom! And they're celebrating together! Let's go! Let's damn, bruv! New legends in the database. All of these players I already shared on my channel with the classic number 10 playstyle. These players will position themselves high up the pitch and will also make runs behind the line of defense. Like what? I mean, add pretty much whole player then. Add friends in game. Look at this. I was asking. I wish now instantly, like in PUBG, you should be setting invisible mode, I guess, because there are some friends. We know you. Everyone has such a friend who is always bugging you with the invitations to play friendlies and you're always busy. So eight types of uh, anime avatar sets. There's time attack event. There's a special event that you need to complete and there are different sets of rewards. Fituringe, Marcus Rashford, Rasmus Hoyland. Yeah, let's go. This Celebrations are here. Yeah, they're actually showing it. That's nice. Special collaboration. That's cool to see that the collaborations are here because that's how PUBG is getting such a big attention. Uh, so many eyes on that game. So many people are playing that. And even those who are not interested in Battle Royale games, just because they are collaborating with your favorite manga, anime, your, um, I don't know, special um, superhero movie uh, that people who just want to have a piece of that collectible item in their device, on their phone, uh, they are just opening the game and collecting that. And then, who knows, maybe they just become a fan. And once Konami is starting to make more of these uh, collaborations, eventually it will definitely benefit the game. More people are still praying, and more people playing, more people pay in Konami, people pay in Konami, and they also... Yeah, it feels like it's... It's a console type of uh, trailer. But still, it's nice. So yeah, uh, more people uh, playing the game, more people spending coins, uh, more um, initiative for Konami to improve their game. And uh, already this is the best mobile game for football, indeed. Modifications for classic number 10 playing style. Look at this, he's making around there showing you. People were complaining about that all the time and saying, no, no, I'm not using this card because it's classic number 10. Now we can. Yeah, that's a game against... Yeah, yeah, that's, game. that's the final, cup final against Man City. I remember this game. So all of three cards are from that uh, final. Yeah, there's Havertz. Uh, Drawing that card. <laughs> okay, that's nice. I, I liked the fact that we can now see the trailer. There you go. There you go. Special login bonus, the position booster. And that is where we're starting to cook Blue Lock um, calibration campaign. And uh, what are you going to be doing? Kuba? Yeah, we're going to be claiming that. But first, yeah, Kuba. Now I can discard my other Kuba though. Like, I need training items, economy. We need to step up the game with training items. Did they tweak the actual goalkeeper situation here? Um, see, full power. Yeah, I mean, it's good that the goalkeeper didn't embarrass me this time. Love and stream. Manager says 85 getting a boost. Yes, that's okay. I guess it's new animation. Oh, we completed this, getting the rewards. Let's see the uh, next rewards. Yeah, train items. I needed them. We'll be there. Let's see the rewards. So, yeah, you can you obviously, if you haven't completed the rewards, you'll still have a chance. Another two. And one of them is Jack Wilshire, a new epic boosted card. We will be there. Obviously, Chalkman Glue, Savage, but we need Wilshire. Imagine, Orchestrator. Like, already, like, this is not trained. 
He's going to be getting 95 in everything, in passing and dribbling. Look at this monster of a card. And he has great defending stats. Look, this is going to be my next Modric. Aggression and tackling, base stats already 70 and 82. This is amazing. And passing, uh, also boost to passing means that you don't need to uh, add a lot of points there. And he has fantastic skills. Double touch, cut behind and turn, very underrated skill. Heal trick, fantastic. Vantage pass, all the passing skills, through pass, weighted pass, vantage pass. I also need Kyler for passing, also great. Like, you don't even need to add him. I need this card now. This is amazing. Um, player roles, he's getting only 85 as a left midfielder, but if you're playing him as a winger, 97. So as I already explained, when you're playing someone as a, a left midfielder and they're not compatible there, and you're getting actual rating decrease, their performance will be akin to them playing on a red arrow. What? <laughs> How is that happening, man? That's Pep Guardiola. That's the old card of Guardiola. I feel like he has 88 now with possession game, even better. But Vinicius with him is getting 102. For those obsessing about overall, there's so much things to unravel in this update. When you're using a manager with, you see the number, 87? If you're using a manager like that, there's Klopp, there's uh, uh, there's uh, Pep Guardiola, Luis Roman, and some other managers. Unfortunately, if you bought a premium manager like Eric Ten Hag, he has 85. So long will counter. He's getting 101 overall. His player is digital. If you take a look, his improvement is attack and awareness is 90, right? Uh, nothing that fancy. I mean, but when you're using, imagine paying coins for that manager, right? 1500. Obviously, you're getting some players, but yeah, there you go. You buy an AGP manager. You go to contract tab, you buy a GP manager. You get Pep Guardiola. His overall is going to be actually, I think, possession game 88. They updated that. Mine is a little bit older. Now you go to your Vini. First and foremost, overall 102. Don't care about overall. I'm caring about the stats, and if the stats are improved, that's fantastic. And look attentively, if you notice the difference, there is a difference. His attack and awareness 91, his dribbling is 93, let alone there's improvement from his A condition, which is giving him the booster. And I know it's a little bit complicated, but what you want to achieve is to have not the high overall number, it's nice to have it, but in general, you need to get the manager that has very high numbers in the uh, respective playstyle. So there's possession game, there's quick counter, which are really good that they are boosting that. And I don't know why can I introduce that? What's the reason for that? Zika is getting 83 to possession game. He's not going to be giving you the same improvement as um, Pep, for instance, free Pep that you get for GPs. Obviously, you get dribbling update uh, upgrade with this manager to every player. There's another benefit of getting him. But in my opinion, the appeal of the Zika, and that's why I was kind of reluctant to buy Zika in general. Appeal of the Zico is uh, dwindling now. Now there is no point in buying him. This Vinicius is even more broken. Like three points from the manager, three points from the boost. In A condition, this boost is activated. 96 finishing. His base card has 90. Manager boost, uh, boost when he has A condition. Acceleration plus three also. Acceleration. He is even more explosive. Speed plus three also. Like this is very important stats, and they are now boosted. You might think one point is negligible. I'm, I'm telling you, it's important. In this department, it's really important. Yeah, Modric as a left midfielder, we're gonna be uh, then uh, position training. Let's hope that he's getting us actual, like we place him as a left midfielder position. Uh, we hope that he's getting there um, by applying this booster. Makes a lot of sense, right? There's two slots. Left midfielder, please. Like, I have a lot of on him, but I don't need to play him there. All right, I'll be using another one next. Yeah, but now I can play him as a right midfielder. Uh, right wing forward, sorry. Now look, he was not compatible here at all. Now he can play there. That's nice. That's nice. That's nice. That's how the position booster will be working. Discovery by a channel called the Football Potato. Recommend you checking him out. He is making this observation when he was uh, using Pirlo, who is naturally only capable to play as a defensive midfielder and maybe center midfielder. And he was trying to play him as an attacking midfielder. And his overall would drop. Like, for instance, if I'm playing this uh, Petit, same for him. He cannot play as an attacking midfielder. And if we change his role to attacking midfielder, uh, he's going to be getting a significant decrease. So, in this attacking midfielder position, this Petit is going to be performing as if he is on a red arrow or even worse. Despite his stats not suggesting that, so you need to take that into consideration and that's why these position boosters are also important. Obviously, we'll take a look. Oh wait, we're getting one guaranteed for sure, bruv, what? 
I was thinking there's like 150 players there. I am taking a screenshot of this. That's so cool, man. Konami man, Konami san. I wish. I mean, imagine if they're like <laughs> as good as base cards. But we'll check it out. Okay, we need Garnacho. I don't, didn't have Garnacho in this game ever. I want to test him for sure. Ah, that's literally the worst player I could have gotten. I'm not gonna be discarding him though. Like even though I need GPs, right? It's special packs. AC Milan and Zagi pack. Fifteen hundred, bro. Fifteen hundred. Product details. Fifteen hundred. Uh, no power card of Inzaghi. Blue lock team red. What is this? Ah, that's a kid. Avatar. Yeah, if you are an anime enjoyer, like manga enjoyer, you might be interested in that. I probably will skip because I have so many super subs in my team. And Inzaghi is great. And besides, you're getting a free Inzaghi card. Yeah, I mean, now that you can see, even without the booster applicable now there's a booster to each card that is the obviously card on the left is much better this in Zagi is a free card and this is where if you are getting a free card like that you want him to be a proper super sub like he is used to be it is super sub look at this let's see the celebration left footed finish very nice celebration of Inzaghi okay that's the classic celebration. We've seen that celebration previously, but the other angle. So you're going to be even the classic celebrations in this game. You're going to be getting different angles. Now this game feels as realistic, as close to console as possible, for sure. So the worldwide uh, pack, you get a free try. And I feel like for this pack, one free try is more than enough. Other than that, Valverde is the card that I'm aiming to get in this pack. Whole prayer, bro. I can play as a writing forward. He is uh, good at passing. That position We're gonna be 80. That's more than enough for me. Can tackle. That's box to box type of player, but somehow whole player. But he has good shooting stats. Uh, uh, one touch pass through pass. No weighted pass, unfortunately. That's a nice card. And of course, Musiala with the booster and uh, broken card. Bravo. Absolutely fantastic card. And he is pacey too as an attacking fielder. And he has the shooting and obviously all the passing. Yeah. <clears throat> and the super sub. Other cards, there can be some, like you see, there can be some gems. But realistically, you have, you're have you spoiled with so many good cards in this game that you might be right, not truly really interested in this. Is he good at defending though? Oh, wait, he's actually good at defending. This Nuno Santos is actually a very good card. Wait, <laughs> wait, what? No defensive stats though, like no defensive skills. And you can't add that on him, unfortunately. Yeah, there are some other good cards, but... Realistically, I'm not going to be spending coins on this one. This uh, European Club Championship is where I really need this Mbappe. So Mbappe is getting um, long range curl skill. And uh, Fermin is interesting for people collecting the cards, right? Two Barca players. Fermin, Sergio Roberto. Fermin is probably a better version than uh, the one that was available in the football shop. Ah, uh, it's very close. It's very close. Besides, in a football shop, you can train additional skills. So. Sergio Roberto, on the other hand, can play right back, can play center back, uh, sorry, center midfielder. Good passing skills. It's a mid card. Okay? It's a mid card. Super sub. Very nice. Uh, Alvarez with the booster. Let's see. Alvarez, can he do double touch? No, he can. He can do Marshall turn now, though. Uh, one touch passing, through passing, good passing abilities. Curl and deep in shot. Is he pacey, though? Ah, not really, man. See, he's really small. So you'd expect someone to be either pacey or physic good physically, like can shield the ball, but delete booster card. Look at this. 96 defense awareness. It's gonna be 98 with the manager boost. That is what I mean. Aggression is like a little bit low. But he has the defensive skills, you don't need to add them. If aggression is low, I would add track back, but unfortunately you can't add, of course, anything on this card. And his pace is yeah, it's okay. This card may be actually very nice. Obviously, remember that the special booster is only applicable when he is in A condition, right? Yeah, there are some nice cards. Let's see this cane. Is his passing improved? Oh, finally, Kanami is right in his passing, no? 80 passing is nice for his uh, center forward. Finishing 86, bruh. What? And uh, is there a booster for him? No. One touch passing, nice. No through passing. Ah, come on. All right, Mbappe going home then. Mbappe in the house. Please. I really need to update my Mbappe. My other Mbappe has very low offense awareness. This one has 88. It's gonna be 90. Has good dribbling, good tight possession, good passing, finishing 91, and his extreme good pace. And his balance is 82, 84. Has double touch, has long range curl, 
Acrobatic finish in first time shot. Yeah, I wish he had like some passing skills though. Like what? No through pass. No one touch pass. Like this is mid, bro. What is this? We need. Kilian would be nice, but any special booster card would be nice too. It's a free chance deal. And we're getting. Hurricane! Let's go! Let's go! That's nice! Hurricane as a boosted Champions League card. That's a W in my opinion. Uh, I haven't played with Kane a lot, but he is uh, the type of striker that I would want to have as a super sub in the second half. First half, I'm cooking with someone who can dribble. Second half, I'm just desperate. I'm spamming stunning crosses. <laughs> so that's how I'll be using Kane. But he's a nice card. I might be tempted to go one more time. Might be tempted. But realistically, the odds of me getting Mbappe, second card, like, so I got second best card in this pack. I know how this works. I'm gonna be getting someone else. And I'm not gonna be using those cards, so. You can see new nominating contract pack. And that is, friends, why you are saving your five star contract. Odegaard can be stepping into my team as a player who is getting my double touch skill that I saved. Because his stats are insane. Classic number 10 has been unfixed. He has great passing, great dribbling. And uh, you can improve his acceleration. And he has all the passing skills. This is probably what I'm going to be signing. Because I have Gunda card, which is absolutely broken. Like, we don't see the progression currently. There are sites that... They haven't updated that. I'm pretty sure this Gundo is going to be fantastic. But I'm telling you, this is how they are trying to fool you. They are going to be giving you some nice cards in this pack. But the cards that they were giving you previously, they didn't realize they were making a mistake. This dribbling, this passing, finishing 85. But that's not it. Not all. Look at this. His defensive awareness. It's going to be 81 aggression. Like he can tackle players. That's not it as well. His kicking power is okay. He has all the skills. One touch pass, through pass, weighted pass, outside curler, heel trick to perform the passes from awkward positions and score interesting goals as well. Double touch, cut behind and turn, and long range curler. Like all the best skills for a midfielder, attacking type of midfielder, and he can defend. So obviously, I know that these cards can be nice. Creative playmaker, playstyle is fixed. But the card that I'm gonna be signing is most likely gonna be Odegaard. This Gansa might be like, he's playing for Brazilian team, right? And he's a four star. Oh yeah, I'm signing him. Oh yeah, 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 I'm signing him. I need to improve my Brazilian Turkish hybrid team. And uh, I need this. I need this card. I need, the design is too good to... Yeah, design too, too good to pass. Yeah, four star? Yeah, of course, sure. And then five star is gonna be probably my Odegaard. My problem now is Konami, give me training items. Odegaard, celebration. Nah, that's the basic one. Ah, it's still nice. 8, 11, 2. Okay. Let's make it like that. You could have trained this Inzaghi differently. You might have had this Inzaghi overall 200. I'm happy for you. This is your choice, your life, your choice. What you want to do is that. It's your decision. I want to train my Inzaghi like that. Stop bullying me in the comments that you have higher overall in Zage. I'm really happy for you. And a goal celebration. And look at this beautiful kit. Ah, that's so nice. And you have the uh, names as well. Because previously this kit didn't have the names. So many kits have been updated. You see the names on most of the kits now. This update, man. This is unrivaled. I'm telling you, the best update since Football 2022. And that's not even Craig Bait. That's actually the case. I feel like the that's AI games. Maybe when you're playing against uh, friends or like playing online, you're getting different. The lighting, right? The lighting of the stadiums is different now too. These are the avatars. Wait, we need to complete the objectives. Feature Kimi in matches, challenge events. Feature Hoyland. You get the avatars. These are so cool, man. Bruno Fernandes. Just use any Bruno card and you get a special avatar. That's insane, Konami. Like, the customization of this game. It was needed. And they added that. This update, I mean, now that I'm certain, 10 out of 10. Absolutely no doubts about that. We're getting 
a free guard nacho on our short try. The design is so cool though. Like a pony. So better pay up if you owe me. And Don't final one, like this guard nacho though. Yeah, yeah. Man's them moving too shaky, acting sus for no reason. Uh, still do the dance like Stacy with a city girl. Nice. It's that season. Uh, oh, different animation. Wait, what? Is that the no worst card pain. compared to Rashford? Why is the animation like different? Eyes, you know that they be praying, uh, Another Bayern buff. I don't I need to build a Bayern team. Now, uh, that's a good card though. Like, someone pointed out, Kimmich is probably the best card in this pack. Central midfielder. What's the play style? Is he an orchestrator on this one? He can play as a right back. That's a fantastic card. Yeah, great passing. But now. Now, people were asking me, when is the best time to start an account? Just pack these cards for free. Played three games, Champions League pack, and there's also a free try from regular product. From these cards already, I can build half of this team that I have from this. Uh, let's see, order of signing. Kimmich, defensive midfielder, Rashford, winger. You get free Neymar too, by the way, I shouldn't be replacing him there. Uh, I claimed uh, Odegaard, like this is the best time to start an account, indeed. Uh, overall rating. Let's get Neymar back. Neymar is a free card that you just need to score a few penalties and you'll be getting in like a week or so and you may, maybe even faster. So there you go. This is your Neymar who is also in here. Almost completely. And also Costa Curta is the player that you can get from the events, right? So Costa Curta is um, not from the events, from the penalty challenge, daily penalty game. Daily penalty game card, another daily penalty game card. Uh, the chance uh, from uh, Blue Lock card, player of the week, um, Kane, Rashford, uh, Blue Lock, Inzaghi Blue Lock, free for everyone. A nomination contact, Odegaard. Look, I've built this team with entirely, except for uh, Van Dijk and Van Bissaka, right? But already I have bench stacked. Do you think this team is bad? You can position them differently. You can obviously, like, that Rashford should be playing as a left and forward. But, yeah, it's, it's just like, you need training items to train them properly and check out my training guide videos. They are on my channel. I think that this is fantastic. This update is unrivaled. Absolutely. Not only the free players, but also the addition, ability to change the positions of the players now, customly, from the formations and also adjust uh, them using the position boosters. And also ability to add friends. This is so nice. I hope you uh, enjoy this update too.